So we've got the pendant. We're doing a visual of the area. We look on the ground, we're looking for no leaks or any kind of oil spots that are just underneath the crane area. Okay, the pendant. He's gonna check buttons, He's, it's off. He's now gonna turn it on. Horn works. He's gonna bring it down to his eye level. He's checking for movement on the wire rope. He's going to bring it down to eye level. He's going to check the hook just briefly. The tonnage is on the Hook block. He's now going to back away. And he's going to raise it up and check the limit switch. And all that time, he's going to be watching the wire rope and the movement of the hoist drum to see if he can visually see any kind of deficiencies. You will note he's doing this in an area that is clear of any debris, any obstructions. As he's raising it up, he's going to also then slow it down when he gets very close to the top because he's going to check the upper limit switch. Again, all along watching it as a visual if there's any visual deficiencies he's taking note of the directional label on the crane well marked and visual he's now going to start creeping it up whenever checking an upper limit you creep it up you don't run it at full speed Upper, upper limit switch did engage. You heard the click. He's now going to read. There we go. Reset. And he's now going to bring it down and do the same visual as it comes down. Approximately halfway down, he's going to stop it. He's going to run the crane north and south, the actual bridge. He will go north and south. to check movement of the crane. He'll stop it, kind of watch for drift. He'll then move it in the opposite direction. Do the same thing. Stop it, again looking at drift. He's now going to move the hoist in both directions. And as he's doing that, he's going to be listening and watching for any deficiencies and the festoon cable to make sure that it's not tangled in any way and running properly. Again, he will now bring it down to about chest level, eye level where he's going to check the hook again and the hook block for any deficiencies. Once he brings it down to that eye level, he'll hit the emergency stop to check it out, make sure that it does work properly. He hit the emergency stop, all buttons are being pressed, it's not running. 
So that works properly. He now is going to do a, a little bit um, better uh, visual of the hook and the shivs in the block itself. Note that he's never putting his hands in any kind of pinch point areas. Once he's done that, he's going to reset and he's going to check to see if there's a lower limit. You will note how he is farther away, lower limit. lower limit engaged, so it is working properly. Again, note that he is away from the crane, he is not under the hook block doing his visual. All along as he's moving the crane, he's still doing visual checks. Okay. He's identified the crane disconnect, which is approximately approximately 50 feet down on a pylon and we'll show a visual picture of that. Pre-use inspection, visual inspection has been completed.